In today's video, we're going to take a look at a possible interview question for you, and that is, what is the difference between a div and a span? Well, mm, that's a, <laughs> it is an interesting question because we, as web developers, we might have used this uh, all over the place, right? Div, spans, uh, kind of do the same thing, but what's, uh, why are they different things? If we, we have here two elements, one div and one span, right? And if I take a look at it inside the browser, we don't see really any difference. Just test one and test two on the second line. So that works properly. Hmm. But one thing that we can notice is if we open DevTools here and try to select them, you'll notice that test one is the whole line, occupies the whole um, horizontal space. Whereas test two, not so much, it just occupies however much it takes to occupy. So in here, really the difference is that one of them, div, is a display block. And the other one is actually a display inline. And actually it doesn't even show it here, but if we go to the computed section, we can see that it is the display in line. But what does that mean? Well, it's going to be pretty obvious if I actually have multiple of these elements. So if I have test one and test two three times, one after it, one after another, if we try to uh, refresh the browser, you're going to see that while well, the divs are going to be in separate lines, whereas the uh, spans are each going to be one after the other, depending on how uh, much space they occupy. You see, they basically they um, behave exactly like text would. That's what display inline does to element. And display block is considered a section of a page. Now, uh, if we were to change them so that div would be display inline and span would be display block, technically you could. So if I did something like that, um, What's going to happen? Well, if I go here and say I change the style and say div display inline and span display say display block. If I do that, what is going to happen is the reverse, of course. Well, all the divs are now display inline, so they are one after the other on the same line and all the spans are on separate lines here. So technically, yes, the difference between those two is just the display block and display in line. And usually the meaning behind them is that, well, if you have a part of a text that you want to stylize differently, right? You have to, you want to make it uh, red, for example, you would just use a span because that is by default display in line and one wouldn't change um, the, the flow of the page. But if you have a section of a page that is completely different than the other parts, so let's say you have the sidebar and you have the main content, those two should be probably divs because they could uh, contain other uh, divs or other elements that have display blocks in them. One other difference is in the standard. The standard does specify that uh, span elements should never have other div elements inside of them, whereas div elements could have other span elements inside of them. So here, if I take a look at the HTML validator, and I have here just two lines of HTML, one that has a span inside of a div and another one that has a div inside of a span, right? So if we try the first one, right, and just check it out, you're gonna see some uh, errors, but this is just because I didn't add a doc type or anything uh, at the top. But this is all fine, although if I do paste the other one where I have a div inside of a span and try to check it, you're going to notice one extra error in saying that the div element is not allowed inside the span element. And that is correct because, of course, if it's an inline element, it cannot have a block type elements because otherwise it would ruin the flow of text, of course. So. The standard says that you shouldn't actually have this, even though if the if the display type is actually different. Uh, now the browsers do actually allow it to happen, no problem, 
they don't really follow the standard as strictly as they can but uh, this is just a thing that you should keep in mind and I think it's pretty sensible to say that you shouldn't really have divs or any other block type elements inside uh, spans or other well inline type elements. Now we saw what are the differences but let's take a look at also the similarities because there was a reason that I picked div and span I didn't pick div and image or div and strong tags to compare and that's because they actually sort of serve the same purpose that is they define a place a section of your page with something different but they don't have an actual meaning right so a div whenever you want to uh, for example create a wrapper around your code right you, you need a wrapper to, to sort of do something different with the css or whatever that happens all the time you create a div you don't create something else because it doesn't hold any significance right uh, to create anything else there is just a wrapper that doesn't really have any significance to the reader itself that's the important part and similarly with the span well while you might want to use a span uh, to color some text differently uh, to the user it doesn't have any more significance than all the other text right so really these are the differences and similarities between the two nothing much else if somebody asks you what are they and you want to respond practically and in a couple of sentences you can just tell them that one is display block and the other is display in line and really that's about it and if they want details of course you can go on about it as i did here okay if you do have any questions leave them down in the comments below or on our discord server again the source code albeit a bit small you can find it on our website link in the description below take care bye